Okay, thank you for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And uh, if you have any special request videos that you want me to do, or celebrity you want me to do a, new, a video on, or... YouTuber you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you need me to do a video on, small donation of $5, the donation link in the description box below, as well as, don't forget, also in the description box below, I need you guys to follow my um, backup channel, just in case they stop the truth on this channel, you can always find me on my backup channel, the backup channel link is in the description box below, click on that link, that take you to the backup channel, and hit that follow button while you're over there. All right, so it says that um, Vin Diesel came out. Yeah, you know Vin Diesel is one of these. You know what I'm saying? You know Vin Diesel is like, oh, he actually he appeared in a dress. Well, they call it a skilt, a kilt. You know what I'm saying? The same thing Kanye West appeared on stage in. You know, no, they, Kanye West, you know this? Kanye West appeared on stage in a kilt. It's another word for address. If you can look, bend over and look up and see Kanye West's scrotum, then that's a dress. It's not a kill. And who wears them type of things? The Romans. The Romans wear kilts. Who wear, who, what did Kanye West have on? Even though it was black, it was a black kilt, that was a Roman. That shows, that goes to show you who controls Kanye West. The Romans. That goes to show you who are these Jewish people. The Romans. And uh, who else? Um, Vin Diesel was in a kilt. Was in a dress. A kilt. Dress. A.K.A. kilt. You know what I'm saying? So that goes to show you who controls him. The Romans. You know what I'm saying? And um, so Vin Diesel came out and said that he is going to... Uh, cop Card I B is going to be in the Fast and Furious 10. 10 represents completion. You best believe, being that, you know what I'm saying, uh, they announced that Card I B is going to be in this new Fast and Furious 10. You best believe that must be why she came out looking different. You notice? That's just before, that's just after Card I B came out looking with her nose looking like a pencil with her nose looking like Michael Jackson you remember because I did a report on Cardi B's nose looking like Michael Jackson's nose she went and got a nose job she then just disfiguring herself just to make up for for not sacrificing anybody see the more fame you accumulate and you don't come up with no blood sacrifices, then it's things that you got to sacrifice on you. You know what I'm saying? Look at little Kim. Look at little look at little Kim. Little Kim done sacrificed them almost everything on her body till she have no more real skin left on her body. I'm not I wouldn't be too sure if she still have her original for JJ. She probably done sacrificed, you know what I'm saying, got a fake for JJ on there. We know that she got a fake booty, you know what I'm saying. Almost everything on uh, Little Kim's body is fake. You know what I'm saying. That's what happens when you don't, you know what I'm saying, when, when you don't come up with that blood sacrifice. They encourage, they, they influence or they tell you to sacrifice things on your own body. You know what I'm saying. But, um. They said, uh, Vin Diesel said Cardi B is coming out, gonna be in the Fast and Furious 10. But she still got to come up with a blood sacrifice, no matter how much, how much body parts she sacrificed on herself. She still got to come up with a blood sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? So be on the lookout for that, especially before this movie drops. You want to hear about a tragedy in Card I B or Bar I B or whatever you want to call her. You're going to hear about something uh, surrounding Card I B because this is big for her. Yes, yeah, she might have played in that um, 
that stripper movie with the uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. But this Fast and Furious 10, this is big for very big for Cardi B. The same way, you know what I'm saying, is a thin line between love and hate was very big for Martin Lawrence, remember? Because see, before Martin Lawrence appeared in uh, as a thin line between love and hate, he was in the house parties, you know what I'm saying? He was in all the house party movies, but they wasn't big. There was no big box office production. The big box office production and debut and premiere was as a thin line between love and hate. That was big for uh, uh, um, uh, Martin Lawrence. And you notice, soon as that movie was set to premiere, that's when we heard about Martin Lawrence in the middle of Hollywood Boulevard with a pistol. Talking about, they trying to kill me. They want him. That's what happened. So Card I B, be on the lookout for something surrounding Card I B, either before this movie begins or during this movie, the premiering of this movie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. Okay, Card I B. We see why you went and got your face did up. <laughs> Say tennis scumbags, say tennis scumbags. Anyway, this is news. Like I said, people, if you have any special request videos that you want me to do, a celebrity you want me to do a video on, or a YouTuber you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic that you want me to do a video on, is a small donation of $5. The donation link in the description box below. Also, people, don't forget, you know what I'm saying, uh, to follow my backup channel. You know what I'm saying? Just in case they disappear me from this channel, you can always catch me and follow me. You can always look for me on my backup channel. The backup channel is in the description box below. Click on that the link in the description box below. That will take you to my backup channel. Hit that follow button and that notification bell on that backup channel. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.